Welcome to 5 Minutes to Code, Programming Basics with your host Matthew C. Applegate. In this series, we are going to look at the fundamentals of computer programming. So whether you are hoping to program in Python, to code in C Sharp, or to develop in Java, these short guides should help you get to grips with the basics to get started. You won't need to download or install any software, so just sit back and enjoy. In this series, we are going to be looking at sequence, selection, and iteration, as well as pseudocode and flowcharts. Today, we are going to look at sequence. So let's look at this in more detail. Iteration is another way of saying repetition, but the major difference is that in an iteration, the repetition may be slightly different than before. Programs are, for the most part, built in loops, and there are three different types you can use. Count controlled, conditional, and infinite. Let's look at some of them in more detail. The first one is a count controlled loop. This repeats a set of instructions a set number of times. In Python, it would look something like this. For timer in range between zero and 60, print timer and at the end, print the end. What this would do is print 0 to 60 on the screen. Each time around the loop, it increases the value of timer until it reaches 60, and then it breaks out of the loop and prints the end. Here is another count control loop. This time, we are going to decrease the value of timer. For timer in range 60 to 0, minus 1, print timer and at the end print the end. What this would do is print 60 to 0 on the screen. Each time around the loop it decreases the value of timer until it reaches 0 and then it breaks out of the loop and prints the end. Let's look at another type of loop, a condition controlled loop. Happy equals true. While happy is equal to true clap your hands. What will this do? Well it will actually continually call the clap your hands procedure until happy becomes false. In this exact case the code will loop forever and that is fine if you want it to but with a bit more code you could break the loop. Happy equals true. Energy equals 50. While happy is equal to true call the procedure clap your hands. Energy equals energy minus 10. What this does is take 10 away from the energy. It then checks in an if statement, if energy is less than 10, happy equals false. And this would break the loop. This code will still call clap your hands. However, it will also decrease the amount of energy there is to clap. And it will eventually break out of the loop because energy is less than 10. Finally, there is the infinite loop and it is very simple to implement in Python. While true, print happy. While true is probably the funniest loop because it checks if true is true. And of course, true will always be true, so it will always loop until true is false, which it can never be. This will simply print happy forever, every time around the loop. These loops are quite useful for what is often referred to as your main game or main program loop, but can be quite awkward as they never really end, especially if you do not include commands to terminate the program from inside them. This is just a short guide to sequence, selection and iteration. How you combine the three principles will affect the outcome of your program. There are literally an infinite possibility of combinations to make and I look forward to hearing about what you have made with your code. Be sure to check out the other videos in the Programming Basics series as they will give you a good foundation to get started. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video and comment below if you have found it useful. If you want to get started in programming right away, be sure to check out my computer art programming tutorials here. Until next time, thanks for watching 5 Minutes to Code.